Hello everyone, it's your awesome young adult services librarian Jessica Wilkinson and this week I'm going to be talking about some of the fairy tales that we have over in the teen space. So let's get started. The first book is Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. Since birth, Nyx has been betrothed to the evil ruler of her kingdom, all because of a foolish bargain struck by her father. And since birth, she has been training to kill him. With no choice but to fulfill her duty, Nyx resents her family for never trying to save her and hates herself for wanting to escape her fate. Still, on her 17th birthday, Nyx abandons everything she's ever known to marry the all-powerful, immortal Ignifex. Her plan? Seduce him, destroy his enchanted castle, and break the 900-year-old curse he put on her people. But Ignifex is not at all what Nyx expected. The strangely charming lord beguiles her and his castle. A shifting maze of magical rooms enthralls her. As Nyx searches for a way to free her homeland by uncovering Ignifex's secrets, she finds herself unwillingly drawn to him. Even if she could bring herself to love her sworn enemy, how can she refuse her duty to kill him? With time running out, Nyx must decide what is more important, the future of her kingdom or the man she was never supposed to love. The next book is House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron A. Craig. In a manner by the sea, twelve sisters are cursed. Annalee lives a sheltered life at Highmoor, a manor by the sea, with her sisters, their father, and stepmother. Once they were twelve, but loneliness fills the grand hall, now that four of the girls lives have been cut short. Each death was more tragic than the last. The plague, a plummeting fall, a drowning, a slippery plunge, and there are whispers throughout the surrounding village that the family is cursed by the gods. Disturbed by a series of ghostly visions, Annalie becomes increasingly suspicious that the deaths were no accidents. Her sisters have been sneaking out every night to attend glittering balls, dancing until dawn in sick silk gowns and shimmering slippers, and Annalie isn't sure whether to try to stop them or to join their forbidden trysts. Because who or what are they really dancing with? When Annalie's involvement with a mysterious stranger who has secrets of his own intensifies, it's a race to unravel the darkness that has fallen over her family before it claims her next. The final book is Splintered by A. G. Howard. Alyssa Gardner hears the whispers of bugs and flowers, precisely the affliction that landed her mother in a mental hospital years before. This family's curse stretches back to her ancestor, Alice Liddell, the real-life inspiration for Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Alyssa might be crazy, but she manages to keep it together, for now. When her mother's mental health takes a turn for the worse, Alyssa learns that what she thought was fiction is based in terrifying reality. The real Wonderland is a place far darker and more twisted than Lewis Carroll ever led on. There, Alyssa must pass a series of tests, including draining an ocean of Alice's tears, waking the slumbering tea party, and subduing a vicious bandersnatch to fix Alice's mistakes and save her family. She must also decide whom to trust. Jeb, her gorgeous best friend and secret crust, or the sexy but suspicious Morpheus, her guide through Wonderland, who may have dark motives of his own. These are just three of some of the fairy tale stories that we have located in the teen space, so make sure to come on over and check them out and enjoy the rest of your April.